What is archaeology? Archaeology is the scientific study of human activity in the past using artifacts, objects that humans made or used, and other physical remains that they uncover. Much of the evidence of ancient human activity is buried by soil, sand, and other debris, so archaeologists must dig or excavate for clues on the ground. What's the difference between an archaeologist and a historian? Archaeologists and historians both study humans in the past. The difference is in the tools they use. Historians study periods of human existence through written texts like books and scrolls and inscriptions on graves and buildings and artifacts. Archaeologists study the physical remains of past human activity, going back to the earliest humans on Earth. When a culture does not have a written language, like the Algonquins before 1600s, archaeologists use their skills to reconstruct what life was like. Cultures and people that do have a written language, like the Romans or the town of Natick in the 1900s, are studied by both historians and archaeologists. Where do archaeologists work? It depends on what sort of archaeology you do. Some archaeologists work outdoors at different sites, in the jungles, forests, mountaintops, caves, and even under the ocean. Some archaeologists work in the lab, doing scientific analysis of artifacts and other archaeological finds. Some archaeologists work in museums, where they store artifacts for the future and share them with the public, like kids like you. Some archaeologists work at universities, studying and writing about ancient civilizations and training future archaeologists. Many archaeologists do a little bit of each of these things in their career. What happens to the things you find? Archaeologists don't keep or sell the things that they find because history and culture does not belong to any one person. Artifacts that archaeologists find go somewhere safe like a museum to be stored and shared for the future. As scientific technology and scientific research improves, archaeologists may want to re-examine artifacts for more clues and answers. Artifacts and the interpretations archaeologists make about them and the site and the people who live there go on display so that people can see, learn, and appreciate them for years to come. New archaeologists study these collections, asking new research questions and reinterpreting old theories. What is your favorite artifact that you have seen at a museum? Are there questions archaeologists can't answer? Archaeologists use artifacts, the relationship between buildings and artifacts at a site, and clues from bone, soil, and preserved plant remains to answer all sorts of questions. In certain environments, are lots of different artifacts preserved well, like the mummies and artifacts in Egypt. In other environments, only the sturdiest materials, including rock, bone, and charcoal, survive. This makes it a lot harder for archaeologists to answer questions about the past. Easy questions include where and in what did people live? What did they eat? What tools did they use to build, hunt, farm, or cook? More difficult questions include what did people in the past do for fun? What holidays did they celebrate? What did their songs sound like and their dances look like? Did they prefer dogs or cats? Lots of questions that we want to ask. Archaeologists are hopeful that we'll come up with more and more creative and technologically advanced ways to answer the difficult but interesting questions. What sorts of questions would you like to know about the past? What kind of skills does an archaeologist need? A good archaeologist asks lots of questions and loves to learn. They pay attention to details, make lots of observations. Archaeologists also have to like getting dirty, being outside, and being adventurous. Do you have the skills to be an archaeologist? Can you think of any other skills an archaeologist might need? Are there archaeological sites in Natick? Yes, the Natick area has been lived on by humans for thousands of years. While not that many Algonquin sites have been officially studied and recorded by archaeologists in the area, we know that Artifacts have been found on farms and in people's backyards, hinting that ancient Algonquin sites lie beneath the surface of the ground. We know that the land around the museum was a burial ground for native Natick people from around 1650 to 1750. The choice to build our museum on sacred ground was made in 1880 and is not one we'd make today. Natick Historical Society is working to build relationships with the descendants of people who lived here at this time. The only difference between an archaeological site and a historical site are the people who study these places and the methods they use. So arguably, there are many colonial era and newer archaeological sites in the town and surrounding area of Natick waiting to be studied. One day, your house, school, favorite restaurant, or the food remains you leave behind in your barbecue grill may be studied by archaeologists of the future. What stories will they tell about your life today? What artifacts do we find at Algonquin sites in Natick and nearby areas? In this area, most of the artifacts we find are made of stone, clay, shell, and bone. 
This is because our very fertile soil and our wet weather destroys organic materials like cloth, wood, reed baskets, and animal hides. Stone artifacts are called lithics and can tell us about how Algonquin people hunted, farmed, fished, built their homes and their canoes, and also what other tools they made. Objects made from pottery also preserve very well, so we find broken fragments of bowls, pots, and cups. Some of these artifacts date back 5,000 years. Why did you decide to become an archeologist? I always was really interested in how ancient people lived. As a family, we would go to Greece to visit my grandparents and I spent a lot of time at ancient sites like temples and palaces. I loved to imagine how people lived, spent a lot of time reading books about the past, and absolutely loved to go to places like Renaissance fairs or Sturbridge Village where historical reenactors made history come alive. I originally thought I might become a historian, but then someone told me that archaeologists spent a lot of time outdoors in different exotic places, piecing together clues using artifacts that they found like a detective, and I thought, wow, that sounds perfect. Have you thought about what you want to do when you grow up? What is the best part of the job? Archaeology allows you to travel to beautiful places and spend lots of time outdoors. Seeing new places, discovering new things, and meeting new people all make archaeology fun. What piece of advice do you have for a young, aspiring archaeologist? There's a place in archaeology for everyone. Think about what questions interest you most and what you're good at. Is it science, math, art, writing, language, building things and solving puzzles? Do that and make that part of what you do. What's the most interesting object you found on a dig? Soapstone bowls I excavated for the mountains of Wyoming that contained ancient food residues stuck on the inside of the bowls are probably the most fascinating thing I've found so far. The residues showed evidence that Shoshone people were cooking and eating a fish stew made from fish, greens, and pine nuts.